Greetings Hive fans and welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like a champion. Recently my friend Francesco and his YouTube channel at Abstra, one of his games of the week, I highlighted a buffer opening and it reminded me of the fact that the buffer opening is not a new opening. We go all the way back to the year 2 BP, that's the year 2 before Pillbug, or 2011. The 2011 World Championship semifinals, I was playing Fu Manchu. And no, Fu Manchu is not Asian. He is actually Greek. Demetrius ended up winning the World Championship in 2012, the following year. This is back before the Pillbug, playing with, with both the Ladybug and the Mosquito. And if you've played with the, the game with just those two bugs without the pill bug, you'll realize that white has a distinct advantage. Two very offensive bugs, very aggressive bugs, the mosquito and the ladybug, make for a big first turn advantage for white. So in that tournament that year, 2011, typically, if you want a game with white, I'm sorry, if you want a game with black, you probably would go on to win the match. And so that's what was happening here. Fu Manchu and I playing in the semifinals. This is game eight. Going into this game, we're tied at three and a half. Fu Manchu got a draw in game three playing black. So he had the advantage. And back then it, you had to win by two. And it had to, at any point, you are ahead by two. So it's three and a half to three and a half going into game eight. And a little bit of history here. Fu Manchu and I were both notorious for taking a long time in our games. And so I knew I was going to have to do something different. And I did. If you notice, I did not open with a ladybug. Almost everyone opened with ladybugs back in that time period. Every once in a while, a beetle. But the ladybug became very quickly the opening bug of choice. I played, we didn't even have a term for it back then, I played a buffered opening. Possibly the first intentional buffered opening in tournament play. He brought in the queen. I played a mosquito. He played a grasshopper. And there I played the queen in a typical buffered opening. Notice the spider has put the two ladybugs a little bit further apart. A term that I'm going to probably add to the hive lexicon, something that Francesco used in his recent video. The ladybug is the pseudo start bug because the spider is the actual start bug. And I knew this was going to uh, possibly confuse my opponent because this was something new that most of us thought was not a very good idea. And sure enough, Fu Manchu took a lot of time in the early going where I had studied this opening over and over and over leading up to this game. And uh, just to make sure we uh, we do it, we're going to put the uh, shoe designation right over there. So first use of a buffered opening. He attacked with a, with a white ant. And this is one of the things that makes the ladybug mosquito so white oriented is you have to be very 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 careful in defending and so if white plays aggressively black will be on the defense from the very beginning <clears throat> sure enough brings in a beetle which get pinned by the ant there's another ant in i play my second ant and at this point if you notice he pinned the white ant this direction rather than pinning it, I pinned the black ant, rather than pinning it this direction. This allows this spot as 
a spawn point and I bring in my last ant. So he's got his mosquito and his ant still in, in reserve where I have an ant and a mosquito mobile. Ant comes in. I ignore it for the time being, bringing a spider in. Uh, again, a very good example of the ambiguous spider can pin the beetle here, or as you will see very shortly, when he pins my ant, I place the block on this spot. And this is the key thing about the buffered opening played without pill bug. It gets this spot right here. Again, a term we didn't even know existed. Possibility of a beetle factory. Definitely a pinproof spawn point. And it's a good defensive spot right there. He plays the mosquito. And my spider, it shifts from placing the block into an attacking position. It allows this spot now to be open, but if white takes this spot, it frees the queen, or it would continue to allow the ladybug free. He attacks with the mosquito with the possibility of it climbing up onto the queen and creating a direct drop spot there. So I continue my attack. Possibly could have been better to climb up with a mosquito, but he is uh, definitely attacking but I have, a, a again, very good defensive opportunities. And here's another, we didn't even know this term back then. This term was one coined by Joe Schultz in his book, The Canon of Hive Groundwork. This ladybug is pretty swamped in a very good defensive position. <clears throat> so I relieve the pin on the beetle, takes the setup shot, forces the grasshopper to jump. And now what I'm doing is setting up attacking bugs. <clears throat> the ant to here would take the setup shot with the grasshopper threatening to take the kill shot. So he pins the grasshopper. I bring a grasshopper. Grasshopper attacking, again, attacking this spot. He can't use this ant to pin because that would free this ant so he pins it with his mosquito which happily for me now the mosquito does no longer have ant power create a fill forcing him to switch his his pin over to my ant Again, I, it's too early to attack with the grasshopper here because that would free the ladybug and possibly allow the queen to escape. So a grasshopper comes in here, threatening the setup shot. And again, I, have tr I will have trouble getting to this spot if he should pin this grasshopper. So he takes a setup shot of his own, but there's nothing, there's no white bug available threatening to take the kill shot. So my grasshopper, either the grasshopper or the, the ladybug could do it. Now the grasshopper is threatening to take the kill shot, and he resigned. So it's a very interesting game. One of the very earliest uh, recorded tournament games where the buffered opening was played, even though we didn't even know what that term was back then. But I use it as a surprise opening. My opponent took a lot of time in the opening where I had practiced it over and over and over and studied it extensively, which allowed me to move very quickly 
my opponent got into time trouble, and that probably aided me in the end. So, a buffered opening. Let's go back here and take a look at it again. Open with a spider. And then played my queen. This is an extended C opening, the buffered opening, which allows this spot, and this spot was critical throughout, or the, the ladybug spot was as well, because it gave me places to, to bring in uh, good defensive bugs. So, hope you learned something, although it's not really that useful anymore, because very few games are played with just the ladybug and the mosquito, because it, white has such an advantage with that combination. So back in the year 2 BP, Ringersol versus Fu Manchu. This was game 8, which I won playing black. And then the following day, won game 9 to win the match. 5.5 uh, to 3.5. Back then you had to win by 2. That's first person to win by 2 or to get ahead by 2. Uh, at, I think we had to play at least a minimum of four games. So I hope you enjoyed it. Early recog recognition of the buffered opening before we even knew what it was called. Also, uh, pre-swamping was shown as an example here in this game as well. So as always, I'm here helping you play Hive like a champion. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.